So, excuse me, folks. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up and with having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume that you are right and you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 71, NASDAQ off 161, S&P's off 33. Gold, gold contract down $40, trading at 2,050 an ounce. We had silver down 91 cents, $24.94 an ounce. Late sweet crude off 81 cents, $73.26 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 15 ticks, trading 110.06. The 30-year down 18 at one. 1719 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 433 ticks at 103,700. Euro is at 108. The end's at uh, 147 British pounds. Is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. We got some divergence out here, folks, in a big way. The first one's going to be the SP. So what you have here is that. You know, yeah, you got the S&P's down 32 bucks, but guess what? This is a really light volume, man. Uh, you know, you get 52 million shares, and the bottom line is that, uh, you know, Friday we go up on, uh, what, 70? Uh, the prior day there, 74. Okay, so that's light volume on the way down. The Q's, however, and this is where your divergence is, okay? If we take a look at the Q's, the Q's are already in the gap. And so the bottom line is that the Q's have rejected, you know, the... Uh, 282, 382 out here today at 385. That being said, you're going to have an expansion of volume out here. You got into the gap. That's saying that the, the Qs want to basically close this gap. And if I go back to the S&P, what you're going to see is that, well, yeah, no, let's go through the rest of them first. Notes and bonds, bottom line, they still want higher price. If you take a look at the 10-year note, what you're going to see, really light volume, 1.4 million contracts. Bottom line, you're down 16 ticks. That's nothing. Okay, now gold, whole different ball game, folks. Okay, and this is what the gold contract last night, overnight, it ran to twenty one fifty two thirty, and bottom line, you know what that is. My take is this is a, a blow off short term top because you get three hundred sixty one thousand contracts traded. You know you had an ABC structure up there. Bottom line, it did it, gave it up in spades. So. You got all the shots to close their position. Now, that's not a good thing because what ends up happening is that that, that means there's less buyers, okay? That being said, I suspect we're going to have to build cars for a bit. You know, we'll see where this baby goes. Um, my, my take is that we're going to 2,500, okay? But short term, this is going to build some cars. Bigger yet, though, is this. Most times what I've seen is that when you get high volatility, inside either the gold market or the S&P. If you get it in the S&P and the gold market doesn't get hit, give it a couple days. It's going to get hit. You get it in the gold market and the S&P doesn't get hit, give it a couple days. So my take is that right now the S&P is doing a slow roll, whereas the NDX 100 is not doing a slow roll. It's going right after the gap. So the volume will expand today. We'll see how much it expands tomorrow. And, you know, I think we're in a pullback right now. That's how this seems to be setting up. Um, dollar. And more than likely, what we're going to see, we're going to see a counter trend bounce in the dollar. We take a look at this dollar. Okay, so the dollar, if I do a 0 0.382 retracement on the dollar, you know, the dollar went from 103.064 today to 103.704. And, you know, a 0 0.382 is running out here at about uh, 104, 393. And that number also coincides with the fast downdraft that we got inside of the dollar. Let's go to Costa in Boston. Costa, what's going on, brother? How are you doing, Tommy, today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing fine. Tommy, about Pfizer, Tommy. Bad news for the drug, the obesity drug. What effect will this have on that 24.95? Price that you told me a few weeks ago, what I called it. You know, I think you still got to get this. I just let it go down there and see what happens, man. You know, you had high volume Friday, 
You can see, yeah, you came down, you broke. Let me see, actually, that, this might be an ABC down to that level. One second, let me put this on a weak link. Huh. Yeah, it is. So, question is, where do I take it from? Right, right there, actually, make a small one. So it's 33. Let's... 28, so you get like five bucks. This thing wants to go after that high volume low. That's what's going on here, Costa. And I just let it be until it gets, gets it. I mean, it gets closer and closer. And you, and you do have an ABC down right now on a weekly basis. So I suspect that that, you know, COVID low is going to get touched, man. That's what it looks like. Okay, Tommy, thank you. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. Bye-bye. Bye bye. So let's go to the silver market and we take a look at silver. So what you have with silver out here, silver's down 93 cents, big number. Now, silver didn't spike like gold did. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we take a look at that silver market, but they took it apart, man. You got, uh, we got over 100,000 contracts inside the silver market. So what we haven't got yet is a destruction of price inside of the gold equities, okay? But what you do have, and this is where it's going to get kind of wild, is that the GDX, you can see that, you know, bottom line, we went top side in the GDX, nice volume, 43 million. You're pulling back with 32. So what we very well could have is this. This is what you want to watch if you're in the gold market. Last week, we broke top side, and we took out the whole consolidation. I suspect what's going to happen here is that we're going to come back to the breakout area, and we'll see whether we come back with light volume. If you come back with light volume, bottom line, if you're not in, that's the place that you can buy. Um, volatility, though. <laughs> uh, big numbers out here, folks, okay? And we'll see if it's going to basically fly from the gold market into the S&P. Right now, the S&P today is, is calm. That's, that's the bottom line. I mean, it really is calm. If we go look at the VIX, you get the VIX. Yeah, the VIX is calm, too, man. The VIX, the VIX got to 1370 and we're at 1310, so it's no big deal. Stay right there, folks, to come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrial is right now down 59. You get the NASDAQ off 167. S&Ps are off 32. We'll come right back.